Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of the Labu Show. And I'm very excited this week because as you can see it's a whole different set. Today I decided to join one power lady right here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas, who originates from Nigeria and she's doing a phenomenal job. I'm talking about the lovely, lovely Mrs. Felicide. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. Wow. Listen, I went to Niger for you today. I tried. I know. To... You look so beautiful. Thank you. I know when you're going to a Nigerian person's house, someone who's originally from Nigeria, mm -hmm. culture is a big thing. Absolutely. So I'm like, let me come a little, you know. <laughs> you look really amazing. You thank look you good. So much. You look good. You really How look are you good. Doing today? I am great. I am doing very well. Wow. It's a beautiful sunny day. Yes, it's it weekend, is. Yes. you know. Yes. Time to relax at home relax. with families, with friends. Yes. So I'm so happy to have you here thank you. welcome thank you yeah your home is first of all i was gonna say your home is lovely it's beautiful Aww. and i came when you're trying to make breakfast yes. for the family yes. so i'm excited yes. with yes. that so um i just wanted us to chit chat a little bit because okay. i know you're doing so so much mm. i didn't get your last name very well i don't know how to pronounce it's Olua Shakin. it Olua Shakin. yes pastor oh felicitas Olua Shakin. Olua Shakin. what does that mean ah Oh my really goodness. I know so all what is God. Yes. Maybe really God is with us or God, God is great. Something, but there's all what is there's God. There's all what is God. That's all that matters. Yeah. Oh my God. So you are a wife, a mother of three mm -hmm. boys. Absolutely. Amazing, amazing, amazing boys. boys. Great boys. Listen, they I are. met them. I think their wives are going to be so so blessed to have them. We have to raise, yes. raise great sons. Which we is really why I'm here to, today so. to talk about all of that. Because mm -hmm. I know you are um, center in the Ministry of Helping Families and um, making sure that in a society we have a better society if we have mm -hmm. a better family. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how your ministry started. Wow. Uh, I just want to give God glory for that. Mm -hmm. um, this ministry started five years ago. Okay. Five years ago. But before now, mm -hmm. uh, before we relocated in Nigeria, okay. I had opportunity oh i always see myself you know mentoring the young ones okay. the singles and um, sure out yes yeah, even the married you. ones you know they come to me for advice and yeah. you know they share their stories yeah. and stuff with me yeah. i will encourage them i have a particular lady um she then she was about 50 years you know yeah. and i was still in my early 30 there about wow. she would come to me and say look Whatever you tell me, I think I'll do it. I'm seeing something different. I didn't even notice that yet. But were you were you already married and had kids? Yes, I was already married with okay. kids, so I was doing that. And then in my church where I was ordained a pastor, um, it's called Recovery House, okay. Lagos Church. Um, they, you know, uh, the church actually came from Port Harcourt. Okay. The head church is in Port Harcourt. And then we just joined the church when they inaugurated the church in Lagos. Okay. So I didn't understand the concept, I would say, of the church right. initially right. because um, from the name you see, it's not a regular church. Right. Like it's not a big or, name. Yeah. Right. So, name. but we love the church. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be where the word of God is preached, right. where we pray and praise God. You know, right. the atmosphere was just beautiful. And the man of God, the second man of God, Reverend Gotchuku Nachuku, is a great man. Is is is. I mean, he's a prophet of our From time. From his name, I can tell. Yes. Or Chukuna, Chukuna. Yes. So much God going around. Yes. So when I when I joined the when we joined the church and after uh, because it was a new church, right. so they were after, then I wasn't a pastor. I just okay. you know I've always been a church girl. Yes. You know, go to church, born again early. Let me tell you, I started preaching at the end of ten years when I was wow. ten. Yes. Wow. So, yes, when I was ten years old in the Sunday school, we uh, we had this. Um, a group, a body called Children Evangelical Ministry. Okay. Yes, this had to do with, I don't know if that thing is still going on, okay. but then it was, you know, when they take all the Sunday school children from different right. churches to come on that, that, yes. Mm -hmm. So once in a year, I think we used to have like children outreach. Okay. And uh, one of those times I was picked to preach when I was 10 years old and we wow. had in a big, over a thousand kids. So, and you know, that has been it. I've always been, you know, doing things, going on evangelism, preaching, right. sharing the word of God and all that. But then when we came to this church and after we started, mm -hmm. the resident pastor called me and said, hey, there's something we do in our church, mm -hmm. which is called a happy home hour. So this is just a segment. They allow someone to come up and talk because the church is more of a family church. Yes. So they allow someone to come up and just say anything relating to marriage, to relationship, to families, mm -hmm. you know, 
just to see how to enhance goals and marriages for people to enjoy right. and all that. Right. And that was totally new to me because I've never seen it. Even the church I used to go before I got married and joined my husband, yeah. we never had that kind of thing. So I was telling him, why did you pick why me? You, you know, you know he said he read about it was me. I said, you don't know me. I've never been to your church before. I don't know. But anyway, long story cut short. So he said, go ahead and pray about it and God will direct you. Even did. God wants you to do it. And that was how I started. I remember the very first word I talked about was on food. So I'm happy today I'm cooking you're while cooking. you're here. <laughs> you know, thank you. I know because I, I told the people that one of the things that keeps the home going, and I don't say different from, from what Jesus was doing. Do you know yes. that every time Jesus, you know, the multitude go about with him, around him around and he's him. preaching. He always made provision, he always made provision of food. You know? So that was the very first word the Lord gave me about food. Mm -hmm. And I took time to teach the church that you need to, as far as the married women, you need yeah. to know how to make, make food, food and present it to your husband who is right. the king to you. Right. And that brought healing to many homes. Wow. And it's been like that. Everything then uh, 2012, the Lord relocated us to America. Honestly, yes. I never wanted to come. You know when you say that, <laughs> some people might feel like, oh, she's just saying it. No, I didn't want to come to U.S. because I knew that I was going to come and start all over again. Right, yeah, Mind yeah, you, right. I used to come on holidays. Okay. So, I mean, you know how it is at home. You yeah. have health, you have families. People were around people you, but right, here yeah. it's like, you're going to be everything yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard for me when I came initially. You know, uh, I, I go to the store, get some stuff, and yeah. I come back, I'm the one carrying them. I'm like, oh my God. We're and back home, you have people who are dying people, to help out. You have, you have yeah. teamwork, you have people helping you. Yes. So that was what, you know, I was just scared of that part of domestic, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. who's going to help me out and all that. But little do I know that God really relocated me for, for something reason. greater right. for wow. me to do. Wow. And which is how Family Treasure Ministry came. And and and, and let's just, um, I was going to just have that said because um, your ministry family treasures to me i feel like in a, in a church today most times because people, there's, there's not a lot of preaching going on about how to build the home mm -hmm. i know of course we need salvation we need the holy spirit we need all of that but as well because you see people dressed well and go to church on a sunday morning yes. and their homes is chaotic that's true it's chaotic. that's true so, and I've made your kids again. I must say, like <laughs> you've impacted so much in your sons that I'm really proud. Thank so you. I just imagine that if every home can have kids like this, then the future is so bright. The future is so great. And um, I know you you have a wonderful husband. Oh. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how it is. You know, as someone who who has this passion to help people, mm -hmm. to help other families, and you go way beyond, you spend money, your time, and everything to I, help I people. am just passionate about it, because it has to do with God. Yes. I'm just pas passionate about marriage, families, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I think my, and not that I think, my inspiration is from God, it's from okay. the Holy Spirit. You know, when God gives you a, pro a, a vision, yes, he'll make the makes provision. The provision. I That's never true. knew how I was going to start it. Mm -hmm. I never knew. I remember the first day we inaugurated it. We actually had it in our home. Okay. It was a, a other home before we moved there. Mm -hmm. And we had over 40 something people. Wow. And there was an instant testimony healing of a marriage that particular okay. day. And then a few days after, another word. And then subsequently, let me just like cut that. you short. <laughs> because that was why I was like, I want to do this interview with you. I want to meet you. But I don't want you to come over to my side. Okay. I want to come to your home because mm. you cannot give what you don't have. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. your home is, first of all, beautiful. Thank you. Well decorated. Thank lovely. You. It's a home. It's not just a house. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between a home and a house. And then I come in. Your husband is very receptive. Tiff, he, he just welcomed us in and um, your sons as well and it's just really really great that you're not just preaching or saying all of these things because I'm maybe you want, yeah I'm not practicing them yeah. yourself yeah because I can really tell that you, you your house is really peaceful oh thank you so it's much amazing. I appreciate that yeah you know, marriage is a practical thing yes you can't uh, I tell people a lot of people I don't I preach what I do what you and because I am accountable to God. Yes. God sees it. And I keep telling families that 
the more what you do in your home and God sees you, mm -hmm. if God is happy with it, yeah. he will bless you more. Definitely. And I see that in my family, I mm -hmm. see that in my home, you yes. know. You should make a man will give you a house, but you, a woman has to make, make it a it home. home. Mm. You know, and that's what I do. <laughs> and when you make it a home, that one is not going to go anywhere. Yeah. If he wants Teach to come back and be at home, yes. you see, everything in this house is my concept. Wow. You know, and I love my husband because. He allows me to do it. He yeah, trusts in me. He sees what I do, you know. Sometimes I could say, hey, take me to the store. I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I get the stuff. I come. I'm like, no, it's not working. Let's take it back. Like, you're this woman again. <laughs> but he tries to do that for me because that's what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. That's what makes us. And there's peace at home. There's peace so at home. Peace. Yes. Okay. So I, I want to say that uh, marriage is the way you receive it. Yes. I tell people, envision your home. Hmm. Look at it. What do you want? If you want a beautiful home, put it in the mindset. Yes. You know, envision it. Yes. Look at it. Every time I see my home, I see my children around me. I, I envision it. Even before I got to this point, right. it's something that I put in my mindset long, long time, time ago, many mm. years ago, even when I didn't see this. Mm. Right. So that just having a positive mind, and before you know it, you're working towards it. Yes. You see, you have a great marriage when you speak greatness into that marriage. But if you say, Oh God, I'm done, I'm tired, you're mm. not the right person, um, you know, I hear all kinds of excuses. I'm like, mm-mm. It's what you speak work. out because every word is a seed. Yes. And when seed grows, what do they do? They bear the fruits. Bear fruits. Good so you have to be careful of what you speak concerning your home or your relationship for those that are not married, you know? Right. Yes, so... So are we taking this out now? Um, yes, if you want to help me dish okay. that into okay. this bowl okay. here, I think you can just lift it up here yeah, and dish it to that. Okay. while I do the eggs. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You know, I'm also a good cook. My mom taught me well. Yeah, I love to cook. <laughs> I love to cook. And it's... then my husband loves to eat. Yeah, my husband loves to eat. You know, I'm single, so I'm not yet married, and I pray to God every day that He gives me a man that will love to eat because I love to cook as yeah, well. Yeah, you will have. Yeah. So he let's just talk a little bit about, um, you know, young. what are some of the things that you see today mm -hmm. or some of the complaints that couples come to you with that you think can be um, mended? And um, like just give it one or two advice to people not to or how to manage their relationships yeah. because in my generation i say my generation mm -hmm. because you know like i said i'm not yet married and i bless god that i'm going to someday Amen. there's social media there's so much competition going out mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. everybody wants to do a wedding you know all of that so yeah. what can you say about you know things like that i i i i want to say that start up being good friends mm. and when you're marrying your friend mm -hmm. you know you have to keep being friends in that home in that marriage yes, uh, husband. yeah because you can't really do anything if you guys are not friends yes you can't you can't be together the bible says can two walk together except they agree mm -hmm. you know so you know just like you don't want to do anything with your enemies right but when you have a good friend, when you know your spouse is your friend, you can grow together. You make mistakes, but because you're friends, you learn and correct yourself in love and keep going on. So what I like telling couples or those that are about to you know, be married is, please, that thing that brought you together, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Don't let the fire go down. Keep it. Be friends forever, you know? So, because, I mean, you have to be friends, first of all, before you even <laughs> be able to serve God together, you know? Everything is what you have between each other. Mm. And then having God in the center of it. Yeah. Having God in the center of it. And let's talk about kids, because your, your sons, I'm not just saying this for, because there's a camera here. I'm saying this because it's... It's the, it's the truth. You have seen it. Yes, I've seen it. How do you do it? Be honestly, because I know, like, coming from Africa, we yeah. have this thing where we don't respect people a lot. Mm -hmm. but in America, children are just left to do whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. talk however they want to talk. Because mm -hmm. I walk in here, your son is like, you need some water, you need some of the drink. You know, he's trying to make sure I'm comfortable, comfortable. in the house. Yeah. 
and they also ask my friends too. I'm like, wow, this is amazing. How should mothers nurture their kids, even in a country such as this? I'm not, I'm not just saying this. I know we are saying this because we're Africans, but they're also, you know, born Americans who are distinct, who are different, yeah. who, whose, um, you know, families are different, whose kids are really well grown. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm talking at the point of a Christian. How do you want to encourage mothers to bring up their kids in the way of the Lord? You have to, a mother really needs to have a good relationship with the Lord. Okay. You start with the mother. You start with the Lord. You can't teach, you cannot raise a child in a way that you don't go. Okay. You know, so, and then you have to live a life that those kids are seeing you. Mm. Because kids really, is the picture they'll see the get okay. in faster. And that stays with them longer. longer. So, you don't just talk the talk. Mm. But what you talk, you do it. You do it. You show it by action, and they should be loved. Okay. That's just it. it. You really need to. I like the word you use. You really need to nurture a child. Yeah. When you when you're nurturing something, you do it with care. Mm. You do it with attention. You do right. it with love. Yeah. So that's how I raise my kids. I nurture them. It's not as if I don't, you know, scold at them when they're. Yeah, yeah, I do, but I let them know this is why I'm doing this. Yes. Yeah. And I'm so much involved in my children. Especially with the education, whatever they do, too. you know, I would give excuses of my work mm. or my time or I'm tired or, you know, some would say you're a big boy, you're this, you're that. <laughs> no, I, we talk, we gist. I tell Ooh, myself, come on, gist. tell me. I like yeah. that word. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's a word that you will know? make you know your friends with your kids. Yeah, I said, come on, give me some gist. What's going on in your school? What's going on around, you know? Mm -hmm. So we talk, you know, I get so much involved. And I tell them things about me as well. Yeah. And then we play at home. Wow. You know, we are very open. I mean, when the boys start, I feel sometimes I feel jealous because I'm the only queen in the house here. Yeah? <laughs> you know, even the little ones, you yeah. know, they run around and they scream and they're like, you know, dad, dad, everybody is like, and I'm just thankful to God. Right. You know, uh, we, we want to go. Do you ever get worried because you don't have a, a girl child? I feel sometimes I feel because I have so much in me that I really want to teach. Video. Yes, I really have so much. <laughs> you know, right now I'm even thinking I'm I'm nursing it and I'm praying about it. Uh -huh. I I want to have. I'll take it outside. I want to use my. I have a beautiful ear, yeah, okay. so I want to use it. Maybe it's once on a Saturday, or you know, just have one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Mm -hmm. It could be in cooking, it could be in setting. I do etiquette as well. Okay. You know, with young ones, how do you do it when you go out there? A lot of women are just behind. That's why yes. most men don't take their wives out. Right. Because their dressing is wrong, their social... <laughs> no, so they, they know how to use silverware. Yeah, yeah. They know how to yeah. sit, they know so, how to dress for what occasion. All absolutely. Of that. So, I want to do that. I just love impacting my generation. I just love you know. Wow. I mean, what you're doing is amazing. Yeah. I've learned from you just a little time that I've known you and also being here today. This is how a house should be. Thank you. This is how, and I can tell you it's not just because the camera was coming here today. This is how your house is. I can tell. There's a difference when a house has just been cleaned that same oh. morning. You can see. <laughs> you know, I went somewhere to preach. I was in, um, I think it was in, um, Atlanta somewhere mm -hmm. um, and when they were introducing me I didn't know it was me they were introducing me oh my god it's so many things, <laughs> it's so many things. and then the, the woman you know because she just started I mean I didn't I knew I was a guest speaker but I thought Definitely. they were talking they were somebody, somebody else. else and she said oh this woman when you go to our home you could see your face oh, on wow. our floor <laughs> oh I said that was that was the high you said oh wow what a woman you didn't know and I called my name yeah, you know, we it. just moved to this home like uh, late last year, but okay. when we lived before, it was all white. I love white, yeah, and so. I'm so particular about my cleaning. Yes, you know, I'm so particular about my cleaning. Mm -hmm. If I come home and I've trained my kids, if I come home and um, maybe the throw pillows are the other way around mm. or something that gets me off, wow. you know. So I tell them, no matter how many times you go through that. Whatever you see, keep it, keep it well. No, it because number one, God is a God of order. order. 
So when we learn to do things, it will help you not just in the home. Yes. It will help you outside. Mm -hmm. Even where I walk, a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, you're so mature. How old are you?" And my boss has come to ask me, "How old are you?" I'm like, "Really?" It has nothing to do with the age. The age. You know? That's it. That's so, true. Yeah. Yeah, and especially in this um this generation. I go to I go online. I love mm -hmm. Instagram a lot because it really inspires me. I see a lot of greatness, great minds, young people doing so many things. Mm -hmm. You know, creativity is just on you know it's on another level. Yeah. Anyways, um we're almost almost rounding up here. Almost. Wow. <laughs> That's what is almost so ready. Good. So we all have to eat something that our <laughs> man must eat today. <laughs> Cameraman is so serious when it's work, it's work. He's I like, know. no jokes. Anyways, so let's just um run up a, li um, real a quick little bit. Here. Okay, so um, the last thing I just wanted to, to, to find out from you is what would you say to someone who is um struggling in, in their marriage in their or marriage. In, in their relationship and they are almost giving up? Because they don't know what to do, they don't know where to go, and um, they don't know how to pray. Mm. They don't know how to pray about it. Mm. Because as Christians, we are we are we are taught to you know stay um, celibate until you get married and things like that. And sometimes it's hard when you're in a relationship with someone without having sex mm -hmm. or um, you know doing things like that, and then it's almost like. It's, the relationship is almost gonna break if that is not in place. Yeah. So, what would you say to a Christian girl, a Christian boy, who is in that dilemma right now? If you if you are a Christian, mm. a child of God, mm -hmm. you just have to do it God's way. There's, there's no, no shortcut. There's no, no shortcut. There's no shortcut. <laughs> there is no shortcut to it. You just have it's to do it God's way. God's way. God's so way. that God can reward you. Mm. The Bible says that he that diligently seek after him, he honors that person, he rewards that person. So you just have to do it God's way. Mm. If you are for God, be for God. Be for God. And the thing is that it pays to serve God. You're sure of the paycheck at the end, at of, the end it. of it. Yeah. But you say you want to try the devil, you're not even sure. You're not sure. Even if he gives to you, we give to you and take it back from you. But God's blessings are permanent. Right. So you, there's no shortcut. Mm. Go to the word of God. Love the things of God. Serve God. Go to a church. Get involved. Mm. Let God, I always say it, pray. Let God take you to the pastor that will mentor. Because a lot of people, I mean, get into the wrong. I mean, churches are okay, but you know, sometimes have, yeah, yeah, relationship. Yeah, yeah. 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 so pray about it. God will give you your own pastor, your own ministry, where you should be. Mm. And then I want to encourage those people. You see, marriages are crashing today because the couples are not equipped. Okay. Some of them get married, they are not being properly counseled. Mm. Some of them are married, they just get in there and they said, oh, I'm done. No knowledge, no nothing. The Bible says, lack of knowledge, my people perish. Mm -hmm. So we have like family treasure ministries there. We have great yeah, conferences. Like, yes. More, like, so we meet we every last Saturday of the month. Okay. Like last month, we had a fantastic phenomenal word that came from the Holy Spirit directly so. was telling us the color of our marriage bed. Wow. And I found that in the scripture. Amazing. Don't give us that. <laughs> much. If you so want to, what so we do every last yes. Saturday of the month is when we come together. Mm -hmm. I encourage couples come together. Bring mm -hmm. your spouse. Yes. Hear the word of God. See it in the scripture. Yes. Then you hold hands together and pray. Right. The Bible said, where two agree, two or three agree over a case, it is established. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, so that's what we do every last Saturday. And then once in a year, we have the big conference the that conference we just had that we yeah. are around. Yes. So it's family treasures. Is there a website? Is there a, yes, Instagram, we have a website. We're on Instagram, we're okay. on Facebook. Oh, family, um, treasures. Okay. Fa family treasure ministry, ministry. okay um, family dot com family treasure ministry dot com that's our, so our that's website where people can go in to get more information absolutely more and see what we, what do. we do we and welcome then, support yes and also book <laughs> like book you too for she's a great speaker listen this woman is amazing the time will not let us I want to thank you so much for bringing you us. Have something. Yes. Grab a plate. Get so, something. guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode, and thank you for bringing us to your home. Remember to make sure we you didn't subscribe. We did look around my home first. We're gonna of all. do that. Okay. We're gonna do that next time. <laughs> We're gonna 
on to that <laughs> next time because we're, we're running out of time here okay. today. Um, so guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, send us emails, whatever. Share, share, share. Mm -hmm. And follow this beautiful lady right here on her social media platforms. It's going to be on the link below. And remember, God loves you. Mm -hmm. And keep your home the way God wants it to be. From us here, we're about to get our breakfast. Yeah. We'll see you guys again. <laughs> Have a wonderful one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>